Hello guys and welcome to your ninth C++ tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, we'll be talking about the while loop. The while loop. Uh, so to get started, first of all, go ahead and open up your, your our previous C++ um, source file we did. Uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and pause the video and do so, so we can get started. Or just create a new under source file. You can add a new source file if you deleted it. Uh, once you've done so, uh, we can go right ahead and get started. So first of all, let me make it bigger for you guys to see. First of all, let's go ahead and erase our previous code. All you need is the system that pause and return zero. If you don't have it, just type it pretty quickly. Pause the video and you can get started. So the tutorial is about a while loop. Okay, so how do we use a while loop? Well, first let's go right ahead and declare a uh, integer variable and let's call it i and let's set it equal to zero so we just declare and initialize a variable called i and set it equal to zero then to start the while loop all we have to do is type, type while open parenthesis so here we'll put i it has to be less than five then open bracket close bracket and everything in between these brackets is is the body of the loop so all we're going to do is for this one for this purpose is just display a message so let's type c out of hello youtube let's put an end line there And then what we want to do is basically type i plus plus semicolon. What this will do is increment i by one. So since i is zero, every time uh, the while loop body is executed, it will increment i by one. So once i up here in the while loop which is five, this will become false and this will break out of the loop and basically the program will be terminated. So what it will do is basically display hello YouTube five times and when this while loop here becomes false, basically when i is not less than five, uh, then it will break out of the loop and basically a program will be terminated. So to test it, let's go ahead and build the program. I just built the program and now let me go right ahead and run it for it, but it's still building. If you are already compiled or built, go ahead and run it. So let's run it. We should see five hello YouTube. You see here one, two, three, four, five. Hello YouTube, hello YouTube, hello YouTube. So let's go ahead over this one more time. So we declare initialize a variable i, set it equal to zero. Then we start our while loop and we put like i has to be less than five. When and this statement is true, so the while loop will be executed for the first time, since y is zero and is less than five. Then y, I mean i, sorry, i will be incremented by one. Then we start, we go back to the beginning. i is one, which is still less than five. It will display the message again until i reaches five, which this becomes false, and then it will break out of the loop and go to system pose and return zero. Okay, guys, so that was a quick overview over for over the while loop in C++. Please check out all my other videos and please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot. And uh, next tutorial will be a small lab or project using all uh, what we learned uh, what we learned previously from all the previous tutorials. And it will be pretty cool and fun. So please stick around and once again subscribe and check out all my other videos.